Well, this is new. We are doing a special kind of stream. We have no games today. And we only gonna talk about cycle training. That's gonna be exciting. How to build your team. What is cycle training? What do we think of it? It's pretty cool. So let's gather together. Make yourself a nice cup of coffee. I made my favorite kind. I have some water. I'll write on Twitter that we are on. Let's see. So that's for later. Now we have this. Mr. Raven, how are you doing? Matthews, hello. Welcome, guys. Let's see. Uh, you can use Hattrick Organizer on a Mac. I have seen it managed even with the latest Java, etc. It's complicated, I'm sure. Daniel, how are you doing? I'm missing you. Are you coming to the stream, Daniel? I have downloaded the Hattrick organizer especially for, for today's stream. Yo, right on time, yes. Parag meter I'm butchering all the names and it will be as well today uh, but uh, hopefully I'll try I'll try I'll do my best zoom or Skype um, I don't know haven't thought about this yet but we will think about something so Pisky hello Jotuns welcome Salitos for you welcome Ranex welcome left for dead so great having you all here. What's this? Um, you should uh, do Zoom? Yeah, maybe we'll do Zoom. Maybe we'll do Zoom. Let's see. So we have Hattrick Organizer. We'll think, we, we have to think about the topics for today. I don't think we'll be managed to, to go over everything. But... I already started calculating a little bit about the budget and everything. No problem, man. Paranga is okay. Paranga is cool. Paranga is uh, easy to pronounce. Hello, El Soy uh, Sapo Pepe. El Soy El Sapo Pepe. Yo Soy El Sapo Pepe. Mr. Toad. Vinicio. Hello, guys. How are you? I'm great. Chris. Welcome. Hey, Mish. How is it going? Well, it's going pretty good. Thank you, everyone, for following as well. Mr. Max and Landrax and Shwidi U. Jutnos, thank you. Oh, you are here, so let me run it for you. I saw you did it three hours ago. Hey, why is it? Oh, yeah, so now we have it. Uh, my opinion is the budget. Skoza, welcome to the stream. Esteroth, hey, how are you doing? Sarina, welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hello, was a little late. Hope I didn't miss too much. Well, we already done. I think I, I think all we did, uh, we talked about this and it's finished. You all know everything there is to know about cycle training, and we are done. Golideos, uh, obviously I'm kidding, we are just starting, don't worry, you didn't miss anything. Serena, welcome, hello Mish, great idea, the live stream, thank you so much. Serena, where are you from? The Izmir, Izmir, Izmister, the Izmister. 
Zlatan, hey there, Zlatan present, thank you so much. Thank you, Papa Mish. You're welcome. Igtagoni, welcome to the stream. So let, let's think about, I have left a few interesting questions for you. This is just for fun. If you are already on the uh, Twitch channel, you should have here two bars. Um, you have the Twitch Prime sub. Ob obviously, if you have Twitch Prime, you are welcome to sub. But Twitch picks, we have a few questions here, just four questions, it's pretty fun. Do you know what cycle training is? Then the next question will be, uh, which cycle training is your, uh, do you prefer or your favorite? Then we have, uh, do you want more educational streams? Answer this question at the end of the stream, because if we'll be, I don't know, uh, too tired or you won't enjoy it, don't say, I don't care, obviously we want more streams. And yeah, obviously we want more streams, right? Streams, right? And the last one, what's your goal for cycle training? Do you want to win titles, go to high divisions, help the national teams around the world, or just have fun? So everything is open. Uh, Omer Barnes, hola! Hey, hi, Red. Zlatan is present? Yes, Zlatan is here. Hattrick organizer on Mac won't load the data, but works fine after a pain as installation process. Nice. I have downloaded Hattrick organizer especially for today. I have it here, the hat trick organizer, and we'll see. Maybe we'll play a bit uh, with it. If we want to understand how competitive could we be at the end of the cycle, we could build the players that we uh, are able to train in the hat trick organizer, and then we'll just for fun could see uh, what ratings we'll be able to produce. Th that what I was uh, thinking about. Mokslas, Mokslas here, hello uh, from me also. I became also a papa two months ago. That's amazing. I became a papa two and a half months ago. So we are practically brother papas. Sounds good here. Erev Tov Gever! Welcome to the stream. Baruch Habala Shidur. This stream will be in, in, in English. It sounds horrible for everyone or just for me. Stevinde Bruyas. Well, uh, tell me, hopefully the sound is good. I hope that the sound is good. And Daniel said sound is good. Never use Hartrick Organizer. Well, I was using Hartrick Organizer. Matthews, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime. You're the man. I appreciate it. And I'll say Sapo Pepe, thank you for the refollow. Thank you. It, um, Papa Manager's stream, definitely. That's why we are starting at 8, at 8 HP time. Uh, Lena helped me so much today and we did the bath, but she did most of the things uh, with Sam today alone. Um, so I could a little bit prepare for the stream after a late uh, day at work. But yeah, it's only after we, we are able to put the children after a bath to sleep, then we could start the, the, the parents' stream. Do you expect to make live streams like a regular thing in the future? Where I am streaming uh, three times a week, but two times is for the Israeli community, so uh, most of the time the international uh, community won't come to those streams. Well, sometimes just to say hello and we could speak in English for a little bit. And on Fridays we are doing the national team streams. But hopefully if a lot of people will be here today and if you'll stick around and if you'll have fun and you'll want more streams like this, yeah, definitely we could think about making it a regular thing as long as we have things to talk about. We could talk about cycle training, and that's what we are doing here today. A lot of the people are coming here from the, uh, from the Cycle Training Federation, and we just hit 700 managers, 700 members in the Cycle Training Federations. That's completely insane. I haven't thought that we'll have so many managers in the Cycle Training Federation, and hopefully we'll even reach 1,000. 
and from the cycle training discord if you are on hat trick and you are uh, not a hat trick supporter in game because sometimes hat trick supporters could be pretty pricey you're welcome to join the hat trick uh, discord the cycle training discord and just be there Sounds good, uh, F5 soldered, okay, it's the sound, sound is good, sound is good. Um, you, your German San Marino boy, oh, uh, Matthias, sometimes use hat-trick organizers. Well, I haven't used hat-trick organizers for ages, really, because nowadays, or at, at least in the previous years, a lot of the features that I wanted to use hat-trick organizer for, like predicting ratings is already in the game with the uh, uh, predictor, rating predictor or uh, analyzer. So I haven't found too much use to, to uh, like for the hat trick organizer. When I did my first cycle training with Sherlock, it was 2012. So I used the hat trick organizer to build my future players and to play with the ratings, to understand will I have strong enough ratings or not. And I suppressed it. So it was pretty good. Pib, Ernesto, good evening here. How are you doing, my friend? Thank you so much for the uh, Spanish subtitles for the uh, uh, Team Spirit management video. Epsilon Anipo! Welcome, Epsilon. You are here. Check your PM on Hatrick, says Salitos. Ooh, do we have some shady business? I, I think we are ready to start. We are here like 50 people. That's nice. That's really, really nice. And if I'm missing some messages, please just write it again. Uh, because I'll try to read everything. But we'll see if I'm missing something or if you'll have questions. So let's, let's start. Let's start with... Uh, quick introduction for cycle training and then I think we could dive to more diff difficult subjects and we'll, we'll speak here about a lot of different things and then we could start a zoom or maybe uh, a discord voice chat if you'd like and we could speak about a lot of different subjects about cycle training So let's see, uh, you could start to think about what would be more interesting for you to, to speak about at the beginning. After the introduction, we could speak about a specific cycle, like wing, uh, playmaking, or complex cycles. And then we could dive into details about uh, the little things that could make or break a, a good cycle. Maybe about budget cycles, cycles without money, or the financial side i haven't made a video about the financial side of cycle training and we are just throwing those numbers like you need 50 million euros or 50 million dollars to start a good cycle training what does it mean why 50 why not less why not more and i have some answers for you and we could make some calculations today uh, together so it could be the financial side some people ask me uh, to do cycle training about like defense or scoring cycle and that's possible but not optimal or even homegrown cycle so i think those are good options to discuss today let's see how it goes is there a defending cycle yes there is a defending cycle and there are different sides to it are you running for any NT? We could we could definitely speak about this. The elections are happening this week. So it will be interesting to know if people here are running uh, for national teams. Carlos, welcome to the stream. Perhaps something more interesting as how to plan buying roundup players. I'm interested in the financial side. Yeah, that's an important side. Okay, let's start. Uh, so we have the Cycle Training Federation. If you are not welcome, uh, if you are not familiar with it, you are always welcome. 
so uh, we could go to different federations and guys we just became i think it's the fifth b biggest federation in hatchet well or maybe uh the open federations or something like this but we have more than 700 members this is insane and let's finally take over the fourth place uh before long shot federation because they are our rivals we are not building long shots here uh obviously if someone is so it, it's okay as well 207 uh, 37 managers online please come to the uh, stream so yeah you are welcome to join the federation because the federation is only for hatrick supporters and if you don't have hatrick supporter you all you are welcome to join our cycle training discord this is completely free everyone can join we have different topics some of them are coming from the cycle training federation like the general topic the war uh, room the, where you could discuss uh, some tactical aspects if you want some help with the uh, different uh, or particular games a training show off if your players are developing and you want to, to brag about this baking players cycle questions spam we always need spam youth academy questions and here we have team channels team channels this means that you could run a channel for your team where you could discuss your players your plans you want advice so this is very uh yeah you see people are writing their plans here and others sharing as well their um let's see if we want to invite everyone so let's see we'll put an invite here generate link copy and done here we have it Zlatan is saying good question why don't you go for national team you have the experience and certainly the X factor you will always win the election i know that's the problem that's why i'm not running well i i don't i won't always win the election but if i'll run in my uh, home country i'll probably win most elections but i know how much time you need to spend for, for to, to be a good coach for the national team uh, to um, find players for young candidates to save players if they are being destroyed to make sure you're in contact with all of the coaches that they're doing the stamina share right and all the other things i just don't have enough time if i want to continue to invest in making good content for for youtube or about cycle training and helping people who write uh, questions to me and obviously i have a business to run which is not that easy uh during the coronavirus time but but we are managing and i just became a father so lena will support me when i will run for a, for a national team or under 20 team and i'll definitely do it but i don't have the time right now and i have one super competitive team and investing time with black sabbath and i'll be playing in the hatrick masters so very time consuming but in the future definitely i would love to hear if some of you are running for national teams daniel he, he's been a national team for quite some time and i'm sure others as well do you need a profit to begin the cycle yes what training you do first well if you're asking what's the most profitable training it's not that easy to answer uh, but we could discuss it as well almost 50 people here today awesome definitely this is amazing and Esther Roth is saying Mish thank you for what you're doing you're uh, you motivate me to succeed in the game and be more active last days I started to collect the different statistics for my country uh, unfortunately HD don't have all the statistics like first division winners and main cut this week and hope we finish and publish something so uh, yeah that would be good that would be super good can access discord really weird but all that uh, can be handled by building a staff 
yeah, oh, yeah, of course. And I, I and people want to help me, but I don't want to say, you know what, I'm gonna be the coach. You do all the work, and I'll put the right lineup. And it's not that easy to put the right lineup, but still, I don't know. Maybe in the future. How are you doing, Mish Rafi? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much. How th how is things in Portugal? Are you back to schools starting the new year or quarantine hit you again? Two terms behind me. That's Daniel. No serious contender in Hungary. If I would know that, I could run there. And Chris is saying I'm running ill the Maldives. Nice, Serena. I'm not experienced enough. You will be in the future. Let's start. So we have the Cycle Training Federation and Discord, and I'm inviting you to join both. So what is Cycle Training? It's a training approach to build a team that could reach the highest levels through long-term uh, training plan that includes several different training types. Basically, we are taking 17-year-old players and we are building them to be the best in their position and no other player could match them on the transfer market because they will be very rare. They'll be perfectly trained and will probably start with four players, sometimes six, then we'll add something called half-baked half players. Half-baked players are players that will be at the same age as our core trainees. The core trainees are the 17-year-olds that we are starting with. <laughs> will give them X seasons of certain training. Sometimes it's four, sometimes it's six, sometimes it's three. Um, it depends on the different cycle training that we could have. And then we are adding the half-baked players. Half-baked players are players that been trained in a skill that you will want to be training in your long-term training plan, but they will be at the same age or approximately the same age as your core trainees. So if you're buying half-baked trainees after four seasons, they will be about 21 year old because your core trainees will be about 21 year old. And we want to build a team that will pick at the same time. In the future, when they'll be around 30 year old, you want them to be at perfect skills and shape so you could be super competitive and win titles. You could diverse it with different ages, but the most, I would say, competitive approach would be to pick at the same time. Um, yeah, it's like a tailor-made suit because it's better to start with players from your youth academy. And I could give you an example how important it to have a player from your youth academy because the homegrown bonus is something that's being neglected a lot. People are saying, yeah, it's just a half a level at every skill. Like if you have a player who's, let's say, inadequate at playmaking, that's five. And you are comparing him to a player on the transfer market who is passable, which is six. You could argue, oh, the other player is much better. And in three seasons, the other player will have maximal loyalty. So he'll get an extra level at each skill. And your player, the homegrown player, is getting only one and a half. And to train between uh, inadequate and passable, let's say it's like six weeks, and you are getting only half a level of bonus, so it's like the other player is better by three weeks. He's being trained faster, or he has a potential better by three weeks. Three weeks is like 21 points. But think about what will happen when you'll train both of them to 18 playmaking. And the other one will be 18 playmaking plus three weeks of training, and your player will be 18 plus half a level, but how much time will it take to train half a level when the player is already 18? That's like almost a season. So he is adv more advanced by half a season of training, of, of training, worth of training, and that's only one skill. That's the main skill. 
but he's getting this for all other big skills. So it's important. Mishma kure abamish. Alex, Shidura yom be anglit. So yeah, the, the, the stream will be today in, in English. But welcome to the stream. Great to have you here, Alex. The Netherlands universities are still online. Oh, in Spain. Jenk, uh, Discord work for me. Nice. I'm running for assistant coach in Jordan. The staff uh, of a couple of places I really love the national team's world. Ernest, Ernesto, I don't know if if you you need more time at home because of little Camilo, but when will you run for national team? Rafi is saying, yeah, we are back to school in Switzerland. Oh, it's Switzerland. Sorry, it's not Portugal. My bad. Just uh, uh, I just had my first sick student. He has to stay at home for ten days now. Yeah. I write it only to hear Mish. How is he reading my messages? <laughs> okay. So, the homegrown bonus is very important. And not only that I think that the Youth Academy players is something that's pro practically a must for a cycle training. Because if you have two players, two decent players from your youth academy, you're also saving a lot of money on buying core trainees. And some perfect core trainees, the 2200 potential core trainees that will definitely play sometimes in the future in under 20s or national teams, they worth like 10 million dollars, 10 million euros. They are crazy expensive. Some worth 15. The 2300 worth 20 million euros. It's not, I would say, reasonable to spend so much money. Maybe before the financial restrictions, when you could hoard and have 500 million euros if you'd wanted to, or 200 million euros, 150. You could afford anything you want. But right now, we have to be much more calculated. Because if we'll buy core trainees for too much money, and if we'll buy have back players for too much money, we just won't have enough money to buy good roundup players. We will have a great half team, half squad. But competitively, we won't be able to compete because we'll be lacking a good goalkeeper, good defense. That would be problematic. Norwegian teams can't win on the top level. And I'm not saying like Norwegian teams with defense. I'm, not, I'm saying Norwegian teams without defense at all. I don't know what to think. Oh, okay. Two of my sons in school are already closed. I, that's crazy, definitely. Yeah, Daniel, he's from Great Britain. Um, so the axioms for cycle training. As I say, I'll, I'll, I'll run quickly uh, over it. We are creating perfect players that could be very rare on the transfer market or expensive. We train them from 17 year old, we give them perfect conditions. We don't settle for mediocre players because we are gonna use them for so much seasons. Uh, if we could build uh, around a, a core youth academy player, that would be amazing. And if we could have national team play or players from our nationality, that could save us a lot of money. And we have to build our long-term plan very smartly. The training conditions should be perfect. If you have a solid coach, that's okay. I really insist on excellent coaches if you want to go to the maximum. First of all, you'll gain 5% of training speed. But at the end, you'll gain a little bit more form. And when you are reaching the top of hat-trick form is king 
play, uh, teams with bad form and teams with good form will perform worlds apart. So as long as you're training, you'll be using two level five assistant coaches and one medic. If you want something else, like you want a sports psychologist, you, you could have it. It's not that important. Um, training intensity, always 100%, stamina, always 10%. At the past, we could train a little bit faster with 5% stamina share. And there was a small period of time when you could have a third assistant coach. It's not possible anymore and the minimum stamina is 5%. Now. Uh, it's no longer 5%, it's 10% now. But if something changes in Hattrick and from time to time things are changing, at the beginning, five, seven, eight seasons of any cycle training, Train maximally. Don't care that you are dropping leagues. That's it. If you could uh, put a player in the under 20 or under 21 to get experience, you could temporarily increase stamina. That could be interesting. And a future perfect team, we could think about... The, we said that we want to speak about budgets. So here is something about budgets. Uh, when I made this video, and I think I made it over a year ago, I estimated the the prices for such perfect players. We could think if it's still relevant or the inflation is kicking even more. Daniel is living in Manchester. I'll be with something like... Okay... 110 million in two seasons. Should I start cycle or is it better to wait for youth? Paranga. This is very good. A lot of money. That's definitely more than enough. And when I started my perfect training, like complex cycle training a season ago, I had something around 100 million. So... We are in the same boat. I think if you could afford yourself to wait a little bit longer for at least one homegrown player, that would be good. Because you'll feel much more committed to the plan. You'll th see this player in your youth academy. You'll raise him since 15 or 16 year old. So you'll be much more invested. And the homegrown bonus would be will be amazing. But... With 100 million, you could start right away. If you want, you could start right away. I'm to the bell. So, Epsilon is saying, will you speak about Youth Academy players and the flexibility when you have a good player in the Youth Academy? Well, Epsilon, it should be planned. planned. If you have an amazing good Academy player, but you already started a cycle training, you have to think about, is it player worth restarting your plan? If he's worth restarting your plan, yeah, maybe sell the bunch of players that you're already training. But let's say you are three seasons into the cycle training plan, and you have an amazing Youth Academy player. If you like the players that you currently have, I would say sell this perfect player and use the money in the future to buy better roundup players. Because you'll always have someone good. Right now in Black Sabbath, I have about four or five amazing players that... I would die to start a new cycle with. But my current players are 32 year old. I, I would wish to get the player that I have in my youth academy now in three seasons. But it's not possible. I'm just gonna sell them for money and use those money to prolong my cycle plan. So it depends. If you have up to two seasons of difference in your players that's maybe okay and i would try to restrict restrict it to one season of age difference because 
when one player will be completely prepared, the others will need a little bit of training. And if you'll increase the training, the stamina, their training won't be that perfect. Or when one player will already be 35 year old and start dropping skills and play with lower stamina while the others picking a 33 year old, that would be a little bit more problematic for you uh, competitive wise. And if you just seen Lena right now, I'm sure you want to say hello to her much more that you want him he, to hear me speak about cycle training. We have 55 hello. people here. Yep, I saw. That's amazing. I saw. Oh, yeah, you are <laughs> one of them. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Supporting you. Yeah, you are amazing. Mm, yep. What do you think about this team? De Rodenborst from Netherlands. He is Division 1 for 24 seasons in a row. Uh, yeah, De Rodenborst. We, we could speak about super teams. He, he's good. He's good. Um... And, hey Daniel. and we have another team, uh, Erhovot Wizards. He is playing for, I think, something like this. 30-something seasons, oh. 32 seasons in the Premier Division. This is amazing. They are not, like, the, the, the Israeli team, he's not doing cycle training. He's doing some el thing, something else. He's skill trading on defense players. That's what's allowing him to generate enough money to keep his thing, team afloat and for every uh, couple of seasons to buy a bit more younger players. But it's just different approaches. I think that the team that will prolong their stay at the top for too long will start losing some power. And if you want to be the best in Hattrick for a certain period of time... Um, you need to build towards that. And hey, Lena, and good to see you. And hello, everyone, who said hello Sarina to me. Sarina says hello, Daniel of, says hello, Carlos says hello. A lot of people say hello, hello yeah, to me. Obviously. Wow. And Vinicio. Nice. Uh, or you could... Can you send us the screenshot of your youth academy? Or you could post it on Discord? Uh, yeah, yeah, I could, uh, could show you the... my youth players by the way those are the players that I'm using for my cycle training this is one is gonna be my um, defensive um, sitting midfielder he'll be uh, he'll hit the next level his potential is uh, 20 hundred uh, um, but he'll be much better he, he should increase his skills in maybe two or three weeks and this is the, the best player that I have, 2150 potential, but he's more like 2200 because in two weeks he'll be 10. So he's really amazing. But you asked me about my youth academy. And this is for my be uh, first team. So that's one. 15 year old player, 665. Six, Next one. 5 and 4, I don't know anything about him. 5-5-5, five, 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 I don't care. 6 scoring, 4-5, wait for better. 6-5-5 five, five with quick speciality. He's nice. Next. Wing 7, I don't know anything else, but I don't care about him. Uh, next, we have 6 scoring, 5 passing, 5 uh, uh, defense, 4-4 four, four is technical. Not the best. 6 defense, 7 wing. Getting better. 5 defense, 6 playmaking, 8 passing. Okay, he's not even the best. 6 defense, 6 playmaking, 7 passing. His overall passable, quick speciality. I don't know his wing and scoring. 6 scoring, 5 passing, 5 playmaking, powerful speciality. He could be an amazing uh, uh, power forward. And, like... A bad player, seven defense, no secondaries. Another, yeah, that's pretty much it. But you, you could see, you could see the diversity. Another stupid player, five passing, seven defense, had speciality. I consider him bad, uh, but he, he, could, he could be worth some money. Um, yeah, so 
<laughs> my second team has a lot of good players. Hey Lena from Matthews and from uh, Ernesto. The Rosenbrush uh, replaced around 3-4 players each season. Uh, Paranga, you're saying there's nothing good there. Okay. Heroes of Might and Magic in Hungary is in the top two division 35 seasons. Yeah, a lot of uh, such teams. Show me I can find your gem. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So. Let's think about it. Uh, just for quick estimations of future roundup players. No matter which team you want to build in the future, eventually you'll need to round up. Because if you're doing wing training, uh, wing cycle, uh, playmaking cycle, complex cycle, you'll be able to build maybe six perfect players. Around six perfect players. Sometimes seven. So you need to buy the rest. Usually, in all my cycles, you are buying goalkeeper and defense. And it obviously depends on the age when you are buying him. But a perfect goalkeeper is 20 goalkeeping, 15 uh, defense, 20 set pieces. And he'll be worth around 20 million. He'll be worth around 20 million. I would say, and I would say this price still stands for today. The wing backs will be worth 13. Well, it depends. Right now, I'm trying to buy good players for my uh, for Black Sabbath. And if they are 30 to 32 year olds, they'll be worth around 15 million euros, maybe 14 million euros. If you'll buy a bit older, they'll be worth um, 10 million euros. So I said maybe 13. Center defenders, 12 sounds about right. Wingers, well, when do we want to buy wingers? I usually advise to build them as core trainees or as half-bake trainees because they are just too expensive. Forwards, maybe the forwards are a little bit more expensive that I mentioned here, or especially the normal forward. A perfect normal forward will maybe be worth 14 million euros and not 12. But the prices are pretty much the same. L Lena, how are you? Esteroth is asking. Tired. Yeah. Do you want a snack? Okay. So let's go forward. Um, so just to explain the different cycle trainings and maybe uh, in the future we'll dive to each one of them in more detail. So in the basic wing cycle, I want to build four wingers or two wingers, two inner midfielders uh, towards the wing. They'll be pretty much the same. I want them to be around 18 wing, 18 playmaking, maybe 17 wing, uh, 18 playmaking, maybe 18 wing, 17 playmaking with good secondaries of defense and, and uh, passing. And I want to give them one season of scoring because I want my wingers to be able to uh, realize special events if they are quick or unpredictable. So the plan is like this. You're starting with four seasons of wing. And why with four seasons of wing? Why do you push the wing um, until the end and not training wing until, let's say, level 15 and then come back to wing? and save on salaries because wing will allow you to train only four players in 100% positions. And if you, you will train your players only to 15 and then start training and everything else and buy um, half-baked players, let's say you'll buy two inner midfielders. When you'll go back to two more seasons of wing, 
your inner midfielders will just lose two seasons worth of training. They won't improve at all and that will hurt your team. So we are trying to climb with the number of trainees that we need. So it will be wing, then defense, then scoring. And you're, you're not be able to be too competitive here because you don't have any playmaking unless you're using uh, old players. By the way, for one of maybe the future streams, if you like this, uh, uh, this format of uh, streaming and uh, this hat-trick talks, we could speak about the oldie strategy, using old players uh, to be competitive. Okay, um, so that's it. And then we are coming back to four seasons of playmaking, starting to be very competitive and uh, and starting to climb leagues. By the way, you could see here that the first four seasons of wing, we are using only our four core trainees. And after those four seasons, we are adding two half-baked players. And we'll give them two seasons of defense and one season of scoring because if we want to buy, if we want to build inner midfielders, we want them to to get defense. If you want one of them to be maybe a sitting midfielder, you want to buy him with a little bit more defense. If you want one of them to be a defensive forward, you are not buying him during defense training because he won't gain anything. You'll buy him here before scoring. So you have to adjust your team to the half-baked players that you want to, to do. This is important. This is the profit slots. And I already started as an Excel spreadsheet. You could help me with it. This is great. Thank you from Belgium. Braj, thank you so much. And thank you for the follow, Braj. Uh, you just followed three minutes ago. I appreciate it. So let's see. Daniel, I'm sure you'll be able to help because you have a keen eye. So this is only for the wing cycle. How much money we need to spend? Wait. Okay. And how much money we'll be able to earn? Because we're always saying start with 50 million euros and 50 million euros, you can't store 15 million euro, 50 million euros. You can store maybe 15 or, um, or 20, right? 20? No, 25. But, but not all of it could be, uh, in cash so we need to be flexible about it but we can earn a little bit of money so I said let's say you buy all your core trainees how much will they be worth hopefully you'll be able to maybe start with two homegrown players but let's say you are not so I would say two million euros for a core trainee that's a fair amount of money that would be a good core training. 10 million, uh, uh, 2 million euros, you'll, you'll be able to buy uh, 2,100 um, player, 2,100 potential. Zoom. Mm. Zoom, zoom like this, Daniel, or, or you want to come on Zoom? I think you want to come on Zoom. Mm. Let's do it. Daniel, we could try the the Discord chat again. The Discord chat room. It worked really well for me um, when we tried it a few days ago. But obviously, Zoom could be Zoom could be okay as well. So tell me what's better for you.
waiting for your answer. Welcome to everyone else who is joining our cycle training stream. Right now we are speaking about the budget that you need for a wing cycle. And we could extrapolate this for the other cycles as well. Playmaking cycle and complex cycle. But we are starting with this. What are we doing? <clears throat> we are speaking about cycle training. Existing. And we also trying to <clears throat> really calculate <clears throat> how much money you need for a good cycle training. So it's a little bit of everything. We are speaking about the axioms of cycle training, what is cycle training, what are you getting from cycle training. We are giving example, example with wing cycle training. And I think the wing cycle training is the most low budget cycle training that you could do because you don't need a lot of money to start wing cycle. And if you build wingers and inner midfielders towards the wing, by the way, it will be very interesting to see in Hattrick Organizer what future ratings you could get from such players and, and we'll do it simultaneously. That would be even better. Uh, for me, it was bad on Discord, but I'm there. Please join. Let's try the Discord, and then if not... Daniel? Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Yeah. Uh, thanks. This is really interesting, so I am excited and happy. Okay, we'll, okay. we'll try and we'll see if it works. Yeah, last time there was so much lag, I couldn't hear you normally. What about now? So, now is it yet good, but it was like lagging for 30 seconds and then good for 30 and then again going down. So hopefully it will be good. Okay, so first problem that we encounter with this will come to, will uh, move to Zoom. Yeah, and of course I am delayed uh, here. And I can see your screen, mm. so you need to stay on the screen so I can comment what on the same what you're commenting on. Okay. Um. Yeah. yeah. What what I wanted to say is, if you uh, tell me skills, I can quickly run searches on the transfer market, so we can have a good uh, estimation of uh, player prices. Yeah. yeah, and so. uh, let's see, a, a few questions, uh, Carlos is saying, um, Danny is saying I'm uh, going to start a cycle, a wing cycle this season with one of my uh, players from the youth academy, amazing, I want to buy some core trainees from my country Spain to avoid high salaries, that's very smart, but I don't find good trainees at this moment really, we could find, I'm sure that Spain is such a big country that you'll have a lot of good players. Yeah, I think the same. It's all the same. And Rafi is saying that I should be. started with zero budget as well, made a few mistakes with high salary players. We could explore this. And Monkey Boy is asking, would you say it's better to have a whole team of two at uh, of 2100 potential than let's say two free players that are 2100? Well, Monkey Boy, it it depends. What are the other players when your team is 20, when your core players are 2100? If all the other players are like 1800, yeah, definitely it's better to have the whole team of uh, uh, 2000. But it, if it's like tw some 2100 and some 1900, so it's pretty much the same. Michael, some people have problem with the voice. They are hearing it double. Oh, okay. um, don't look at the chat. They say... I may need to mute, but I muted the stream, so I have no idea what else I could do. Is it better now? Maybe we are late. Or I am late to the chat. Mm, I don't know. Let's try it one more minute, and if not, we'll go to, yeah. to Zoom. Okay. I will share. Uh, okay. So, uh, let's try to explore this. Uh, so, I'm saying... So that in for 2 million euros you could buy good core trainees uh, tell me the skills winger yeah 
it should be six or seven million euros. No, 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 skill levels on in Vinga. Oh, we, um, no, it doesn't matter. Let's say, let's run a quick search on the transfer market. I'm looking for a 17 yeah, yeah. year old player. I wanted to do that, but yeah, you can do it as well. <coughs> So let's say we buy him up to up to 40 days. Um, yeah. Skills. So we want to buy. We want we, we want to train wings uh, uh, cycle. But I don't care for the wing level of my core trainees because I'm gonna give them wing. So uh, I even prefer them to have maybe six defense and let's say six playmaking. Just for example. Yeah. And That's they'll fine. be quick, unpredictable, and let's see. Some of them will definitely be too expensive, but some of them should be much better. So we are <laughs> looking for players of about 20 to 2100 potential, and the prices here are in Nice, which is the Israeli currency, so you need to uh, divide it by five. Can you turn on Fox Tricks uh, currency exchange? It will display euros as well. Oh, uh, let's see. Where do I do it? You go to Fox Tricks settings, yes. and then you enter currency in the search field, and it will drop. You can click, turn it on, and then select euros. <coughs> Why can't I see it here? Um, currency. Yeah. Or exchange. Let me check. Oh, did have you find it? No, not yet. Yeah, if you enter currency into the search of Fox Street preferences, it will come up. I can't see yet. I am behind. Um, it's, um, just enter to the search field. You have a search field somewhere. Um, yeah, I have, but something is not working for me. Wait a second, I'll try it in, in another screen. Let's see, where's my fox? Oh, okay, now it's better. Um, in for no, not information alerts, accessibility. Do you remember in which category is it? Um, I usually search for it, so I have no idea because I just search for currency converter and then it will be there. Um, it should be maybe in presentation. Yes, it's in presentation, the third in presentation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're back, Captain Moore. Thanks. Wait a second. I'm here. Good night, guys. Have fun. Bye. Goodbye, Lena. Currency converter. Okay, done. Michael. To Euro. Michael. Yes, I did Sorry, it. Sorry, Michael. Can we go to Zoom? Can you share your screen with me? Because that means I will be real time with you on the yes. stream and not lagging behind. Sorry about it. No problem. <laughs> okay, thank you. We'll start a Zoom with Daniel. Yeah, skipping, uh, leaving uh, Discord now. Okay, no problem. Okay, so where's our Zoom? It's over here. What, signing? I, I'm already signed in. What's happening? Copy link and wait. Dan Daniel, I'll write it in the
hopefully it's okay. So, oh, so I, I turned on the currency exchange. Now we have it. Thank you, Daniel. So 5 million euros. 5 million euros, it's too much for this player. Obviously, it's an amazing player. He's coming from a small country. He's coming from Iraq. He has a speciality. So that's why he'll be so expensive. I will not buy such a player. Let's move forward. This player, 1950 potential. Well, he could be good. I'm not saying he's amazing, but he could be good. And he was worth nothing. Other players, 1960, 20 hundred potential, and he's worth 300, uh, 340k. So as you could see, unless they are very, very rare or very, very good, you could definitely find players. That's a nice player, 70, uh, 750, uh, solid, solid. So I, I don't know. Let's see, his transfer compare, his transfer compare is about, is about 1 million uh, euro. Oh, I need to maybe authorize Daniel, participants. Daniel, you are here? Hello, yes, I am here. Okay, share um, screen. I'm gonna share this screen with you. Cool. Thank you, okay. So you have euros there, great, great. Can you prices right find now are them? crazy high because seventeen hundred are pretty much perfect twenty one hundred age. Sweet thirty three, Nate you are definitely right. Welcome to the stream. Great having you here. Buying in mid season, you can get your train is much cheaper, definitely. And that's another good tip that you are saying. Sweet thirty three. Um, if you don't have enough budget, you could definitely start towards the middle of the season or towards the end of the season and buy uh, trainees without timing. Yeah. So, yeah. Michael, can you go? Have you find any player which is looking nice? Yes. Which is 2154. Yeah, it's good. Can we go to the transfer compare of this player? No, he, he'll be very expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Uh, um, but uh, oh, in this. But let's say this player, nothing special here. Twenty hundred sixty-nine oh, from Italy. Good. Italy is packed with player, player. So I wouldn't say he's even amazing. Six defense, seven playmaking, wing four, passing four. That's a good trainee. That's uh, twenty-one uh, in the top four skills you need. Yeah. 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 So yeah, around 20 relevant skill. If, if you don't know what relevant skill is, I, I think I speak about this during the core trainees. Let's see, where's my core trainees? Yeah. So core trainees, how to pick core trainees? Um, a relevant skill is the sum of the four important skills for a player. So let's say if we are speaking about wingers, I want to uh, sum the defense, playmaking, wing, and passing for them. You could also adjust uh, scoring because winger will you, uh, you, wingers will use scoring to convert special events. But basically, you need the four main skills. For inner midfielders, it's playmaking, defense, passing, and scoring. So or if the relevant skill is around 20, you are good. Yeah. Oh, and Ernesto is saying, or you could buy players with a uh, 17 year old and 30 days, no one wants them. Hey, Mish, Aviv, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Le relevant, skillful LS players at 17 year old. Okay, we don't like LS players here, but let's say we are. Let's say we do. So, long shot players will need free skills they'll need defense playmaking and scoring we don't count uh, set pieces because firstly set pieces is being trained very fast and secondly you most of the time won't have players on the transfer market with uh, set pieces so don't account for this too much so 
for long shot teams, I, I would say uh, 15 to 18 relevant skill for defense, playmaking and scoring. If they have 666, top tier LS player. 555, good LS player. Can you bring up the sh mm, what is it? Uh, the presentation? Someone asking yeah. from the chat. Oh, yeah. Let me find the player. But Monty, which slide do you want? Because mm. homegrown long shot. Uh, okay, <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Take any player you want. World Cup starts. We have to do a talk, Daniel, about the new World Cup format. And the timing that players will be picked it's, in, because previously it doesn't they... really change much. Mm. It changed a little, but not much, in my understanding. Okay, so it, it will be interesting to speak about anyway. Because because um, the Continental Cups will run in the first ten weeks, and the tenth round will be around the same time as now. So players with the age of 10 or 11 round can play all the basically qualifications the Continental Cup. And after that, there will be finals of the Continental Cup in that season. But if you're qualified for the World Cup, but not to the finals on the group first, or even not those, oh, yeah. you don't so, need those players. Mm -hmm. So, so, so it's either you are uh, fine. regional cups or qualification? No, I... I Currently, it's qualification, and that will be regional cups. And after that, the second season is the World Cup, the same as now. What I am saying is, in the first season of a term, uh, the uh, regional cup will run for ten rounds, and will approximately finish at the same time as now the eleventh qualification match. And that means that all players with the age of eleven rounds, not all the fourteen right now will be able to play in under 20. Okay. Maybe they can't play in the regional cup final, but only four teams per region goes to the final, probably the best ones, who will have those uh, perfectly aged players. But this means for smaller countries, the perfect age uh, bracket will be longer, not only a few weeks, but like double, like now it was like three weeks, which I considered for under 20 as uh, ideal age. And now it will be around six weeks. Okay. So, so more players for smaller countries. Of course, for larger countries as well, but oh, uh, it's a bigger problem for... Is asking the best specs for wingers. I have this in my slide about core trainees. But, and I am mentioning here the best specialities for, for each one. So for the wingers or inner midfielders towards the wing, I feel like quick and unpredictable will be the best or maybe even unpredictable slightly more than wing than quick for wingers and then i would say it's a support winger and it's very very rare uh, it's still an x factor no one really uses support players that much but i think they'll he'll be a very good uh, speciality for for a winger yeah. Because he could I think, contribute to a wing back and a forward, then you always use a wing back and a forward. Yeah. When you made this video, I think that was true, but they nerfed the unpredictable slightly. So I would say quick is still the best. Okay. And or, or quick unpredictable on the same level. So not unpredictable is the first. Okay. Right so now. quick and unpredictable and then head speciality. Uh, yeah. Head is always useful. You need to use head speciality somewhere. And when we are speaking about wingers, we are speaking about core trainees. We are speaking about four players. You will need two inner midfielders towards the wing and two wingers. So probably having uh, two quick players, one unpredictable, one head, or two unpredictables, one quick and one head. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. That, what Ernesto is saying, that he lost faith on unplayed players after the changes and the own goals. I agree with that, but if you have uh, defending on those players, then they are fine. So I would say that unpredictable is best on, uh, basically not on inner midfielders, because defenders are fine with defending, keepers are fine, and our own goals not affecting forwards. So you can play unpredictable basically everywhere, 
except inner midfield. Uh, and then Wingers is slightly weaker because of the on goal chance, but they don't have that much. Even if you have some defense on your winger, it's fine. Okay, so let's let's keep keep doing the budget. So yes, yes, let's I let's think, do I that. Think two million euros is okay for an inner midfielder. And uh, then you, you could see here the, the amount of seasons that we want to do in this cycle training. And this is the distribution of training. So we are starting with four seasons of <coughs> uh, crossing. So you'll buy all your core trainees at the beginning and you'll need about 8 million euros to buy all of them. And yeah, then, that's an overshoot, so that's fine. You yeah, will be able to buy four good less. core trainees for 8 million, definitely. Even from smaller countries, if you are not in the largest countries. Yeah. If you are from a... And, and obviously, we want at least one of two or two of them to be a homegrown player, so you won't need to spend money on them at all. Let's speak about how much money you could do from profit. And I'll start with the next training and then we'll come back to this one because that's a very problematic one. How much money could you do on a 50% position? You have four positions of wing backs and you could train for four seasons, four players with 50% uh, uh, yeah. Yes, training speed. Um, earn profit because you don't have hundreds of millions in the bank. The best to do is skill trading on those posts because that yeah. makes your so profit that, that, much that's higher. Different. If, if you're going to skill trade, you're going to make a lot of money. Because if you're going to skill trade, you could make even um, half a million per week per, per position. But it's not very feasible to do skill trading for four seasons in a row unless you have too much free time. So we'll estimate a little bit uh, normal training uh, speed, which will give us less value and then more. But I I'm going to go firstly here. After four seasons of crossing, we trained our wingers to uh, about 18 wing. And we could do this here if you want another nice tool, everyone, about training speed. We have the tracker that would give us a good training speed. Obviously, we could uh, use the training speed of, of Hattrick as well. But let's say we are go starting with a 17-year-old player and we are going to train crossing and his starting level is only inadequate. We're going to train um, with two level, two level five assistant coaches. We're going to give only 100% intensity. And let's say our coach is excellent because we want to try and maximize our training speed. So if we train with those positions, after four seasons, when our players will be 21 year old and it's over here 21 year old and one day they'll reach magical so let's say uh, something will go wrong someone will get injured so we'll even give them a little bit more than four seasons maybe it will be four seasons and a few more weeks doesn't matter they will reach um, magical magical uh, wing and if we're gonna build those players just for a show let's go here to squad and this is a tool of hattrick organizer it was such a big flashback for me i just downloaded the hattrick organizer half half a, an hour before the stream and an hour before the stream i tried to download it and something didn't work and I started to be a bit frustrated and we needed to go to Beth Sam. Uh, so it was fun. But let's say we're building this player. He'll be, um, I don't know, squad A doesn't matter. Um, so where is it? So uh, skill. 
a quick and quick speciality we want to to give him magical and the other skills let's say the other skills aren't important at the moment at the moment so we will build him something like this magical 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 and everything else is not important after this we're gonna move to two seasons of defense and here we could see that it's two seasons of defense during this time we are buying uh, our two half-baked players so at the four seasons uh, the wingers were training at a wing position and now for two seasons they'll be trained as defenders and we're gonna buy two more players let's say that we'll build one defensive inner midfielder and one or normal inner midfielder or forward but let's say inner midfielders just for the sake of example okay so we are doing this and we will have let's see here four training slots for profit this is important so for two seasons we have four training slots for profit and for defense it's much easier to calculate the amount of profit you should, you could do and i i will just throw a number at you and if you skill trade you'll do much more but for a defensive position if you're training for a season or two season you could make around 60 thousand euros per week on a training position so if we'll calculate total profit i'm going 60 thousand euros a week multiplied by 16 weeks multiplied by four training positions so we're gonna make uh, almost four million euros a season so we're gonna make seven and a half million euros for two uh, seasons during this time and I'm not saying it's not a lot of money but it's it's very very nice it's very very nice and somewhere you need to include uh, ticket income as well because usually you end finish a season with a profit without training so well, yeah, like obviously I, I earn like two million euros in Hungarian fourth division each season just on on uh, operating profit so if I see my budget in electric financial stage season overview deduct the player income the SAS from the buys and that's around two million euros each season as a profit yeah or even more if you have better stadium better results so on but you can calculate based on your division fans club size and success uh, some money per season on on operating income so that should be added i think yeah you know what you're right somewhere so let's say um stadium uh, yeah yeah stadium plus it's, it's not uh, that sponsors. stadium yeah, it's operating profit basically. So, uh, or 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 fi fixed income, maybe a good uh, term. Okay. Um, fixed income. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give me some numbers while I do other calculations? Yeah, I can do. I can do. We will. Can, uh, let's three say. Things, so I can look at them. Mm -hmm. let's say at the beginning we are at lower divisions and then we are going up yeah, Captain I have more a question six what divisions you, uh, from being competitive during a whole cycle training you can 
go around your squad with great old players in slots you don't train and relatively be successful in hat trick am i missing something well more you're not exactly missing something but um but it, it it depends on which division you are because w we could do this here in in hatrick organizer let's say you just finished your four seasons of wing and your players are let's say they're like five passing six defense scoring let's say weak or inadequate doesn't, doesn't matter you have wingers amazing uh, playmaking is six and, and that's about it. So we are adding this player, we're adding this unpredictable player, and another unpredictable player. And we'll go to lineup, and we'll see what we could do. So we have this winger, this winger, Where are my players? Why I can't put all of them? And, and this one? Normal. Um, and he'll play towards the wing. He'll play towards the wing. Where's my player? Temporary player number two. Uh, number two. Um, while you're calculating, just can I answer this question on my side? I would say uh, you need to see that stable income or fixed income, which I said. So if you don't have unlimited money, uh, you need to see how much money you burn on those odd players and how much you earn uh, more from a successful season. So if you have a long cap run with nice stadium income, and uh, top finish in the league and getting uh, top prize, uh, that could cover your odd players and, and maybe keep you up higher. But then if it costs you more, then at the end of your cycle, you won't have enough money or that much money to buy the other players. Your um, cycle trained core trainees will take you up on the leagues, uh, even if you use 36 years old, 0, 0, 0 players. On the other position so yeah. i mean players bought by thousand euro on the market and and, and so. mainly it's another issue it's the issue of stamina when you are tr perfectly training your core trainees when they are 20 year old uh, you'll do it with 10 percent stamina share if you'll buy players who are 35 36 year old 37 year old their stamina will be very very low so each game you'll start dropping ratings very fast and you don't want to increase stamina to, for competitive play uh, because it will ruin your perfect training and you don't want to keep rebuying those old players with higher stamina because then it will burn your money and i'm always saying as daniel said don't be too focused on competitive play at the beginning of a training cycle it will be nice if you are in a lower division yeah use some old players but don't care about them having no stamina at all so they will help you win some matches uh, you'll get some enjoyment from this but eventually when your players will be better you'll automatically just roll over leagues you'll promote and promote and promote until you reach your rightful spot and then you'll start using more old players for non-training positions until you'll buy your roundup players, which will be solid. Yeah. Um, so, Daniel, you have some income numbers? I've calculated in sixth division of Hungary, a brand new team, one and a half season odd, could uh, make Serena, 40... Serena, thank you so much for coming. Sorry? No, Serena just uh, have to go to work. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. So, 40k a week in euros on a lowest a division team. 40k a week, yes. Uh, the, the first season with zero players. I have no 
other players from the market, just basic players of what I got at the beginning of the team. And I bought one player for 1K and nothing else. So it's, and, and, um, and an old uh, future train, future coach, but that's probably doesn't count. So yeah, 40K on the lowest division. In South Africa, third division, where I am faring better, that's 140K uh, per week. Oh, you know what? We have statistics about this. Um, let me see. We could go to statistics. Let's say for, for Israel. Yes. And we have. Um, let's have sponsor, a look at it. Sponsor income. Overview. Uh, it doesn't have. In overview. Uh, I'm sharing Looking the screen right now. So we have uh, money, fan club, sponsor revenue, and crowd. Yeah, but it doesn't. That won't have. Yeah, that it doesn't, ha doesn't have you. Okay. No. So. No. So we'll and let me like, just. So you're saying for third division it will be 140. Uh, yes, and I have a team in fourth division just to check it uh, for you. So let's um, say we'll, we'll be here at this point and here we'll promote a little bit, uh, just quick extrapolations. Um, Yeah, afterwards we have to account for um yeah it's the same in the hungarian uh fourth division i've earned 150k each week in the last season yeah i, I i'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure because i'm, I'm thinking about let's say you are making 200k a week in the second division or in the first division but the salaries are getting to pretty high, so it's it's calculates the salaries. So it's all of your. Uh, can you go? I can show it to you. Can you go finances and hat trick and any other teams which you don't mind to share and stream? Um, okay. Maybe Sherlock. No, it's okay. The finance, I I don't care to share the the Black Sabbath finance because it's open for everyone to see. Okay. So I currently have those finances because I bought a few players. Yeah, and you select previous season. Uh, just drop down to 59. You know, the 58 is fine and just click fetch. 59. Um, all, all yeah, things. summary. No, summary is good. Summary that fetch. summary is okay. Fetch. And here you see a season result. And if you go down, you see an average uh, just below. Yes. And you see your total result is almost 400k euros per week. But that's, of course, and that's your result. That's really nice. Because if you see what you need to calculate of this is the player sales. Mm -hmm. So you have 1.6 1 1 million in sales and signings is 1.6 million. So that's exactly the same. So it doesn't matter. So that's average result per week. 400k euros is your profit in this team. Yeah, but I try to be very calculated. So, okay, let's say for yeah. division, you'll make 400. Uh, now about trainings, let's just throw some numbers. So we'll be making 60, uh, 60k per training positions during defense. Let's say we'll make half of it no not not even half i don't think we'll make half um third of, being, it. Being, third no, of it third of it no 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 why the, michael why no that's not correct do, you do have the, you have the, 10 defenders and only four wingers and okay of course half training but it's still eight compared to 10 mm -hmm. so that will be um like uh, 60 divided, no, 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 48 divided by 10. No, 60 divided by 8. It's that, that will be, that will be slightly higher. I can't tell the number because I'm tired now. But that's, that should be 80k a week, at least. 80k a week 
from all positions, from, from all from, from no from one but it, it, it's even let, higher than the defense training let me tell again you train <laughs> you train 10 defenders yes and you earn on one defender 60k a week right yes so your weekly income on defenders is around uh, 600k yes that's correct yeah okay i assume that roughly all training types earns the same money over yeah, a week. It, it's not exactly correct as not I, exactly we, we did some research on the israeli community and we realized that uh, sometimes the profit from a training spot unless it's goalkeeping it's sometimes the same for every training type so even for let's say if you have less wingers than defenders but the profit on wingers won't be uh, at the exact same ratios as as defense and yeah that's eventually, of course that... eventually if you if you use a training position a training slot for its maximum it will be better to use more training slots that's why skill trading on defense is better than skill trading on any other uh, um, yeah yeah okay then then let's say uh, <laughs> Salitos is saying that was a corona sneeze Daniel uh, no thank you no <laughs> yeah of course not. <laughs> don't bother them with corona no I hate that yeah yeah and Obviously, we have income from youth academy players. Okay, so let's let us let us do, ha let's, let, do let's do half. half so zero three. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Okay, that's good. I agree. Let's do this. So during the scoring, we will not have any training positions uh, for profit because we already have six players. And then we are going to playmaking, and again we'll have only half, um, fifty percent training spots. And I even will restrict it more. I'll say we'll be using only free training slots for profit during um, during uh, playmaking, because let's say sometimes we'll be using one of our wingers on his position uh, for competitive play so yeah, yeah it will correct. be over over here so we'll be using maybe this week free players uh, on their training positions but also one of those players the the winger will be tr played here because we want to be competitive and league to to win uh, to win maybe promotions or something and let's say that the profit will be roughly the same as 50% uh, yeah. crossing play uh, training. Here in the passing, that, that's starting to be interesting. Here we need to buy around our players and we didn't say how much money we'll be spending on half-baked players. So that's an interesting point. Let's say... Zlatan is saying, unfortunately, I have to go. Wife is coming home and needs some attention. Very important. <laughs> Zlatan, uh, hug to the wife. Do the proper attention, Zlatan. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like we always we all thinking about, oh, right, Zlatan is going to spend some quality time. And like, oh, yeah, it's cleaning, it's washing dishes, it's bathing the children. But, but yeah, um, uh, totally understandable. And thank you so much for, for uh, being with us until now. So it's it's amazing. Zlatan, uh, again, hug to the wife. And hopefully next time um, she'll even come to say hello when Lena will be here. So I want to calculate inner midfielders. Again, how do we choose half-baked player? We have wingers. And now I want to buy a sitting inner midfielder and he'll be 21 year old so I, I already know this and I'm gonna give him two seasons of defense training if I'm gonna give him two seasons of defense training I want with those two seasons for him to reach 15 defense 
so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna look uh, for a player who will be 21 year old whose main skill will be defense and I'll, I'll say he's probably have to be uh, mag magnificent and then with those training types in two seasons at the age of 23 I want him to be titanic and yeah that's about right so he, he'll reach it so in the transfer market now let's switch to Sherlock to to not sh show anything by mistake the players or anything else um, and I want him to be 21 year old I want him to be uh, powerful you can take out the dice that's too many too restrictive I think what? 39 days you have set up. Ah, yeah, yeah, thank you. And the defense will be magnificent. Obvious, uh, yeah, it will be magnificent. Magnificent, maybe uh, world class. I need to give him something else because 21 year old player with only magnificent, that's very, very bad. I want him to have approximately the same amount of playmaking as my wingers so the question is which kind of training he needs that the wingers don't so it will be maybe slightly more playmaking and slightly more passing uh, just a small touch so let's say passing could be maybe solid and playmaking could be maybe solid i'll look for something like this no one? <laughs> oh, bad. Nice. Uh, okay, let's neglect uh, neglect passing. That was, uh, untick well, that box, please. Yeah. That max out. Michael. Ah. Go back. Tick, tick that out. That max level for non-specified case. Oh, yeah. That's, that might be hiding some players. Or not. No. <laughs> Brutal. Uh, Wait a second. Okay, no playmaking. No, no way. Those players are 1800 potential. So it's not that they are rare. They are not rare That's at very all. 1700. Poor players. Okay, maybe we were just a, a bit unlucky on the transfer market. Um, we could ex extend the surge for. Down nine. the age, the 20, I see, 19. Okay. Uh, 19 to, to 21. Yeah. <laughs> and the playmaking. Let's make it 11 to yeah. 14. Yeah, that's good. Okay, ma okay. much better. Stop. 63 Stop. players found. Stop now. Stop now. Go to that skill table up there. Just scroll back to the top. Mm -hmm. Open up the skill table. And there is HTMS somewhere in it. Or you may need to turn it on. You can go to customize on the top left. Here? Ca no, top left. Under the skill table. Yeah, customize. Customize. No, that's on the link on customize. Click the text. Co you click at the EI. Ah, yeah. It's not good. Yeah. And there is uh, on the last two potential. You need that. OK? No. Oh, and you, uh, we have wage even. We're, this yes, is, we have wage. Yes. This is crazy. Click save le on the left. Left side save under the text, yeah, good. And now you open that skill table and oh, order and potential. Having you can to, having the ability to see wages here will yeah save up so much time while skill trading. Yeah, do potential order on potential. Click on it, and then you will find the best one on the top. That's not a lot. No, not a lot. Yeah, I agree. But let's say for for the main. So, Okay. So I, I don't want to buy someone with wing. But that's a nice player. Yeah. 2.75 uh, transfer compare. Th that's 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 the, uh, a good transfer compare. So we could say yeah. we could safely say that if we are willing to spend 
even 4 million euros and though this player was only free but if we are able to spend 4 million euros for a player that would definitely give us give us two good players so it's 8 million euros mish push yeah. push switch view button also switch view. yeah you can if you go back to that screen uh, with the table of the players yeah. and you click switch view mm -hmm. it will pop up you can scroll to the side and you will see everything at the same time scroll to the side of the yeah yeah that way and everything will be on there but probably those that you don't need yeah maybe the deadline but yeah okay cool thank you nice welcome So, hey, I would say four, 4 million euros if we want to buy, so, yeah, that, that would be okay. So, you, for the scoring, we don't buy anyone. And here for the playmaking, we don't buy anyone. And here during the passing, we need more players. How many seasons passed? Uh, here, for the, our players will be about 28 year old so i want to buy around up players when my players are 28 year old and i here i want to buy forwards center defenders wing backs and a goalkeeper and here I have only six players. I have two inner midfielders towards the wing, um, one defensive inner midfielder, and one normal inner midfielder. I, I think it's no, it's it, it's not right. Maybe we need to buy one here, and we need to buy one here, a defensive forward. Uh, for the playmaking during the scoring he'll be 23 year old he'll be more expensive he'll be worth like 6 million euros and here we need to buy uh, center defender two wing backs goalkeeper forward just for the sake of example let's take the prices from this table so do we want to buy the most expensive ones or do we want to settle for a little bit less no, no, do the best. The best, okay. So the goalkeeper will be worth 20. Uh, defense will be 25, 38. So it's oh, 20, uh, 38, it's 58. And a forward. 12. I said 12, but it's probably it's 14. Well, yeah. Settle with 13, that's the average. Okay, so 71. Yeah. So you need 20 million before you start. Um, are we done here? It's without sub, su subs even. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. But uh, you buy some players for passing which can be used as subs and then mm -hmm. substitute it to, to future players when you don't train anymore. And, and we, there will we, be still some make profit. profit. We can make profit during passing. Yeah. Let's say, yeah. let's say we have six players out of those four more give, getting training, the two wing backs, the forward and the center defender. So it's 10. And let's say we won't use all six training positions. Let's say we use five. Yeah, that's correct. And let's say we'll make 1.04 profit. And let's say we'll do it for two seasons. So without substitutions, we need about 30 million no it's it's 90 no 40 yeah you but you have 58 profit yeah, yeah. 60 that's 30 the difference it's 
but, so you need but we need full sub bank. subs. We need subs. We need, uh, I would say, yeah. at least 15, 20 million for, for subs. Yeah. So that's the 50 million you speak about. Let's say, let, let's say 15. Uh, what is on your, on the presentation? It's much more, subs. much more. Okay. Um, so yeah, the whole team, a perfect team with substitutions will be worth 235 million, but we are building a lot of the expensive players ourselves six of them to uh, yeah. to be correct and the starting lineup is worth 150 million something like this um so let's even say 20 million for subs so overall it's good to start I, I'm, I'm getting tired, so uh, I think we'll go to some questions and answers soon and just to talk generally. But yeah, yeah th that's the number and yeah, it's about 50 million. It's about 50 million. <clears throat> I even thought that you'll need a bit more than 50 million, but the wing cycle will allow you the most budget friendly tr uh, yeah and, and in this spreadsheet now we underestimated the profit and overestimated the player prices for the trainees maybe yeah. not for the biggest part but from from the yaws players there was they were not four million just two or three for each and of course you might do some uh, experience training, which earns money while you are competing on low levels. Yeah, uh, we can build the players for fun. Let's see. Let's say we have our players. So they're playmaking. Let's make it um, 17. Scoring will be 8, defense will be 10, 11, passing will be 11. Uh, wow, that's a nice that, player. That's it. Stamina 8, form, form seven. solid is oh. correct. So I added him. Then let's say we'll have 4 more like this. Two quick ones. No, one quick one head. Now we have the defensive forward, a defensive uh, inner midfielder that's powerful. Passing that will be uh, 12. Defense will be 15. Scoring uh, doesn't really matter. Playmaking uh, 17. Now playmaking will be 18 for him. Wing will be nothing. And I'm gonna add him. Now we have forward. We didn't talk about the defensive forward, but let's say he'll have a scoring of uh, 15, wing of 8, playmaking of 17. That's a bit too much. That's what I encountered with, uh, with Black Sabbath. My defensive forwards have too much playmaking and I would wish them to have more scoring than playmaking but unfortunately I don't have and um, but it happens it happens so let's say this is the player and our defensive forward will be quick that's one player so we have defensive forward for in the goes towards the let's let's play with the with the ratings number 
eight and number nine and this will be temporary player number 11 he'll play defensively and one defensive forward that will be number 12 so only with our six players let's say you're playing at at home neutrally team attitude normal team spirit delirious that's okay confidence let's say con confidence uh, wonderful so only with six players our ratings are are nice but we want more we want the whole squad maybe season bonus could be higher because you will make deeper cup runs you are right say something about stamina at which age we need to have them at eight we'll speak about this well it depends if you are able to progress quicker but i'm saying at the age of 30 you want them to be at stamina of 30 to 34 then at the age of 28 you want the stamina to be 20 to 25 at the age of 26 to 27 no you know what at the age of 27 think about reaching 20 but before that it's 15 or 10 don't touch stamina at least until the age of 25 26 if you can do it uh, now n let's build an, a power forward let's say we are able to buy a power forward so i want my power forward to be titanic i if you could have magical that's even better but let's say uh, wing 10 playmaking um, 13 passing 15 yeah let's try it 15 add player that would be player 13 a lineup one normal power forward bam our ratings are becoming um where are the ratings oh i'm missing i'm missing one side no what are those ratings oh this is the center uh, 12 uh center attack 16 wing attack oh, i don't like it that much let's build three more goalkeeper and three defensive players and that would be it with cycle uh, with the wing cycle and we'll speak about uh questions and answers bam yeah could you share the spreadsheet after uh, the stream yeah of course and ernesto it depends it's just to do cycle streaming with two three levels of two three oh, okay what did I miss? Welcome, Gunrar. Well, um, you missed two hours of uh, cycle training talk. Let's see. Mm, I'm going to take player number seven. I'm going to make his playmaking solid. His wing. Uh, how much uh, wing we want on our wing backs? I, I would like 15, but it's not easy to come by. Yeah, that's nice one. Defense 17. 17, yeah. Passing, well, let's say we won't account for counterattacks, so, so 8, 9. Uh, defense, wing, and playmaking, we have it. <laughs> Speciality, one quick. Uh, next one, let's make him defense of 18 and wing of 14. Speciality head. Um, Michael. Yes. What, what is this hat trick organizer? Oh. Where did you download this? W where did I download it? Was it authenticating correctly? No, I, I had some problems with, with it, but I went. Isn't it a very old version? Ah, this is a ver old version? I don't know. I am afraid a bit. But maybe not. If you downloaded your team. No, it's, it's a Atric okay. Organizer 3.0. It should be okay. Ho hopefully. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Just to make me... sure that the contributions are rightly set mm -hmm. in it. Let's see. I, um, I'm wing checking. Will nerf it. Then playmaking for our center defender will be 14. 
defense 18. Okay, let's leave it like this. Yeah, 3.0 is the latest table. And so, okay. the last one will be our goalkeeper. So obviously we are a little bit cheating because we are giving solid form to all of the players. Defense, a goalkeeper, let's say 14. Keeping, let's say 20. If you have excellent coach and uh, assistant coach and form coach, the average will tend towards solid. So yeah, I agree. There will be quite some excellent players and some lower. So I think um, making um, estimated ratings for 10 seasons ahead, solid, average solid stamina is fine. Okay, we are ready. Guys, I uh, um, hope you are ready. So for a home match, we are looking at 555 head stats. Playing a normal on Team Spirit Delirious and Wonderful Confidence. Hopefully, I'm doing everything correctly. Our defense is about 17 18, our midfield is 15. It seems a bit low. Oh, uh, wing, wing backs playing defensive, that's not right. So now the head stats is 558. Still, I don't know, something something feels a bit wrong. How much was the um, playmaking on your midfielders? It's 1718. 1718, that's correct. Oh, the, okay. I'm using the wingers as offensive, that's not right. So now yeah. it's, yeah, yeah 570 head stats. It seems much better. 1690. So, yeah, so yeah. The, the midfield is almost 17. The, de the wing attack is 18. The, the center attack is a little bit lacking. But that's because we are using our inner midfielders towards the wing. If we'd like to play, let's say, sometimes normally with them, the center attack will improve to 13 and we could even press a little bit harder if we'll play them offensively you'll get a center attack of 16 but still i think that the one of the problems of wing cycle is the fact that you are building four core players who are basically wingers and wingers towards the uh, inner middle the door the wing and you are obliged to always play them towards the wing your wing attack will be amazing but you are neglecting your centered attack a lot of the times and that's a bit problematic that's a bit problematic um, so one interesting solution that came up at a lot of the discussions about wing cycle is the fact that you are able to just sell one of the inner midfielders towards the wing and you'll get very a, a lot of money because you are basically selling a winger. A winger at the age of 28 will give you about uh, 15 million euros. G Trout, thank you so much for the follow, friend. Where are you from? Next time, home ground cycle. We'll see. Paranga, I couldn't install Hatchet Organizer when I tried. Maybe you should do a tutorial on that. I was so frustrated on uh, trying to install it. And I'll tell you where I did. <coughs> where I found it. I think it was... There was a discussion on the forum about how to install 3.0. It's here. So you need Java, firstly. And then, I think it was, I think it was here. Different versions. Um, no, it wasn't. Oh, there was a, there is a four, 
point zero. That's um, or beta. not uh, like a beta, yes. So download was it here? No. No, that's a bug. Um, I don't remember now. <laughs> Um, I, I remember I tried to install the zip, I downloaded the zip. Um, you can go to issues maybe, there could be... Okay, I downloaded this and then I downloaded the installer. Do they have an installer? Yeah, they, they do. Oh, yeah, it's here, it's here. Yeah, that's there, that's on the right. bottom. So, uh, let me give you the link if you want. Paranga. Here. So basically you're going to this page, you're scrolling down. I just downloaded the installer and I installed it. That's it. So our conclusion is for the wing cycle you need 50 million euros and you need to make about 60 million euros during the cycle because the whole cycle will will um, cost you about 110 but if you are starting with core trainees this could help you a little bit probably you could um, you could cut a lot of the expenses here. So I would say you could cut a lot of the 50 million euros that you need for a wing cycle. And the end result will be a very strong midfield oriented team with amazing wing attacks. And if you'll be able, and you could sell, you could sell uh, one winger and you could build or buy an amazing offensive forward, uh, offensive inner midfielder. Let's build one. For instance, our defensive one is player 11. So if I'll take player 11 and I'll make him, I don't know, a head speciality, um, playmaking, magical, scoring, let's make him 10, passing, let's make him. 15 defense let's make it lower like 12 I think that's it and now if I'm selling one player and I'm playing offensive so this player 18 will give me this is more balanced. So here I'll have even stronger midfield at 17. Uh, one strong wing attack and the other uh, is a bit weaker, but I have also center attack. And probably I could have even more center attack if I'll play with this defensive forward as normal. So my uh, center attack is getting 14 and a half if the defensive inner midfielder will sometimes play normally 15 center attack 15 center attack is something that your opponents cannot neglect so you'll be always producing a lot of strong attack and one of the solutions is having um, is selling one of the core trainees but eventually getting more money and a winger will give you 15 million euros when you could probably buy a perfect offensive forward or uh, offensive inner midfielder or normal inner midfielder for less than 10. So you're saving six, five, six, sometimes seven million euros for this and you'll be able to afford a better roundup player or a better sub. Carlos, and it's probably possible to engineer a cycle which costs even less, but... Um, but it requires more research. Yes, and it depends on how much time we have. All those numbers of, of uh, pr profit from training spots, if you are skill trading, you are able to make three times more. That's possible. 
but I I'm saying we have so much things going on in our life. We are parents. We we have jobs. We can't like succeed in a hat trick for money. If we could, we could make a lot of money, but it's not possible. Ranex, 15 mil 20 million. Uh, I got nice trainee that will be promoted in one and a half season. I won't be able to get more cash uh, than maybe 15 million profit from training in that time. That's okay. That's, that's okay. If you have one very good player in the youth academy and you want to start a cycle training, go for it. If you have 20 million euros, you could start. We are b buying here 71 million worth of roundup players. You could definitely not buy a goalkeeper who is 20 goalkeeping, 15 defense and 20 set pieces. And then you'll save a lot of money. So most of your budget is going eventually for world-class roundup players and subs. You are building six perfect players for, for 18 million euros. And if you're starting with a youth academy player or two, you are building this for even like 14 million euros or, or, or less. So definitely don't wait for, um, uh, f for more money on and heard indefinitely. Um, so let's see, guys, before, before we are um, finishing for today, do you have other interesting th subjects that you'd like to talk? We didn't talk about almost anything. We didn't talk about low budget uh, cycle. And we, it's a very interesting uh, idea to explore. We didn't talk about um, homegrown or defense cycles or, or scoring cycles. And we'll leave this for, for future talks. But is there some questions you'd like to ask me right now? Maybe um, about youth academy players that you have and you want to share them? And you want to know if they are good enough to start a site? I can take over the stream if you want a little bit and show around my home ground cycle. Uh, if you want to. Yeah, I, I know. I, you know what? I, I think we could maybe start from this when we'll make a stream about home ground cycle. And that would be interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Well, what Absolutely. Do you do when you finish a cycle training, um, that's another big subject. But burn your house <laughs> <laughs> yeah but there are free options that you could do uh, when you are finishing your cycle one option is to do something called hard reset hard reset is when you are like as daniel said burning all your players until they are 36 37 year old going competitive as much as possible, winning all the titles possible, burning the value of your team. And then just breathing, selling everyone or promoting them to the Hall of Fame and starting slowly to, to earn more money, going for a few financial seasons. Um, some managers are saying, oh, I don't like to be in a financial season or five seasons. I don't want to train a whole year, three seasons without being competitive. But I feel or at least I felt that I really needed this off time. After you're being competitive for so long on a, on a top level, always preparing for matches, trying to do research, trying to buy players to, to, to increase your chances. Someone is getting injured, you need to buy someone else. Constant preparation, constant thought about team spirit management, about, uh, about buying or selling players, will it drop your um, team spirit or everything. So after all this stressful times, I really enjoyed the period when I wasn't 100% uh, 
competitive and and the feeling that when you are the best you are playing against the match engine you are you are starting a game you are knowing you'll have 50 100 more head stats than your opponent you'll have 70% chance to win 80% chance to win and you are not you are just coming to this match and you are saying will i get screwed or not will i get robbed of a title or not and a lot of the time you are just feeling a sigh of relief when you you won when you had 80% chance to win and then you're you're, you're losing titles you're getting screwed sometimes and eventually you're training for a profit you don't care if you lose it's like very very relaxful so that's a hard that's a hard reset a soft reset will be when your players are maybe 34 35 you are selling them or few of them and buying younger players maybe 27 maybe 28 year old maybe 30 year old so you are burning the value of your players because you are selling them for a bit cheaper and buying a bit worse or uh, uh, less trained players who are younger but you are prolonging your time at the top and other ideas are, is like be very very um, engaged in the game if you are able to make a lot of money via competitive play trading youth academy stars that you are able to sell for for a lot of money you're able to buy uh, younger players and seriously prolong the time that you're at the top but i'm feeling if you are building a top team with cycle training and let's say you have six or seven core trainees the the four core trainees the two have big trainees let's say two round up world class trainees and you are getting the, your your whole team to a peak at the age of 33 34 35 you won't be able to reproduce the same top tier ratings with other players that you are buying sometimes the stamina won't be uh, the same sometimes the loyalty bonus won't kick in eventually so it depends what's your competition in in smaller countries maybe it's be okay you'll still buy uh, well, not buy uh, win trophies and will be able to buy players that will prolong your time at the top but fighting for hat-trick masters it's it's more difficult and that's why a lot of the teams winning the hat-trick masters are coming from small countries they have less competition there they'll always win the trophies their youth academy players will be worth more and they are able to make so much profit that they are just buying world-class players so um Wait a second. Did I miss a lot of messages? I did miss. Uh, yeah, we talked in the chat like all day. <laughs> okay, okay, and I'm just uh, like, uh, let me uh, catch up. Okay. You open a good beer. I I need a beer. Need to jump off great stream. Thank you so much, Matthews, and thank you so much for the for the sub. Do, uh, possible to do an AOA cycle and still do okay at top tier competition? No, I don't think. Like you, you'll be able to maybe win some domestic prizes. Or when we are speaking AOA team, are you speaking? You won't have defense at all because if you don't have defense at all, you will not be able to be very competitive. Maybe only in Russia, because it's funny, but Russians they have so many good long shot teams that at some point four teams in the premier division were long shots and if you are one team that's completely aoa in the top tier russian division and four of your opponents are they, they don't have attack at all so maybe there you'll be okay but i really think that you could be very offense oriented team and that's that's superb my, my black sabbath they are offense oriented team uh, not with an offensive coach but 
they still I when when I need I'll get twenty six center attack and that's possible, uh, but getting some defense won't cost you that much. So be an AOA team with defense. Would you care for no spec in a midfielder homegrown 2200 potential? Oh, that's a tough decision. <clears throat> Logically, yes, that's that would be a good player. I hate uh, non spec players, although specs got a bit nerfed and they are not that much better than no spec players. They are, but not by, like, not as I give them the credit for. But <clears throat> probably I would suggest, but if I'll do it for myself, I will avoid this. I'll just wait for the next 2100 potent player with a spec. I'll just be more patient. But if you need to start, you want to start... That's an amazing player, homegrown player. That's even better. Siga, Siga Pabingo, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. He is asking you a question in chat about okay. forward cycle. I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Um, great as always. Okay, is it possible to do road to glory series or something? How you can start with a team into low division? An approach and having fun to be a little competitive, earning money. Uh, yeah, actually, I, I'm I'm very open with my teams when I'm just starting my cycle, um, like this team, Sherlock. I'm, I'm very open. Those are my players, the homegrown two stars, and check those ratings and what am I doing. But then, and, and at the beginning for the first i don't know maybe five six seasons with black sabbath i did the same everything was open with black sabbath i was sharing everything on the forums and i even made a video uh, on youtube sharing my skills but but now it's not possible i would love to share my skills with black sabbath uh, and my decision making and everything but even if i'll share my decision making last season against the same opponents that I'm playing with them in the Premier Division this season, it could ruin some of my chances. They would understand my thought process, how I approach games, when I want to surprise someone, and I don't want to spoon-feed them how to improve their chances against me. I want to be super dominant. Last season, I finished without a loss in the Premier Division, uh, I I won the championship and I and I don't want to give anyone chances, but but maybe I should record some of the things and maybe in two seasons I could share it. Could you sell some if your bike for profit? Um, I I would just say check my uh, skill trade video, and and it's pretty obvious how to to find players for skill trade is it uh, okay so but yeah bread it's a good idea overall it's a good idea M maybe maybe i'll do some some streams about it i don't know uh, maybe i'll i'll uh, open the memberships on youtube or something like this and then i'll make some secret videos for for members i'm back serena we're still here but we are starting to round up your opponents will pay the membership fee definitely <laughs> yeah well <laughs> it, 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 you know what if, if they'll pay enough maybe i should uh pivot if you decide to do a cycle why not uh, prefer the complex cycle over the other ones very good question i did the cycle this the wing cycle with sherlock it was a lot of years ago, and that's what won me those trophies. These trophies, championships and cups, or all won with, uh, with, uh, with the same cycle training, like this cup final. Unfortunately, this team is already a bot team. 
but I had 18 um, midfield and here here I played a free defensive forwards and wingers towards the middle because I, I played against a pure Norwegian team and I knew that if I win midfield I'll take the, the game in this cup final I was a bit unfortunate to, to reach the penalties but eventually I won those as well but but you could see that I'm playing yeah for, for like uh, here it's a different formation but same players the round before this sometimes I was playing yeah I, I think I was playing with the wingers towards the inner midfielders towards the the wing so my my ra overall ratings was more wing than um, than center attack back then. So th that was then, and my second team Black Sabbath. Um, I did the playmaking cycle with them because I thought that was the improvement for the wing cycle. They are just different, but I had three players that were perfect to to make them an inner midfielders. And they are now reaching the national team in Israel, so that was very obvious that the the, the playmaking cycle is the best thing. And then I invented the, the complex cycle, and my current cycle is complex cycle with the Sherlock, but I think that I have enough money. The complex cycle is more expensive than the wing cycle, by, probably by a lot. The player that you'll be able, you'll need to buy eventually, uh, are are more expensive, but it's also because the end result will probably be a bit better. If with Black Sabbath I'm reaching well into the 600 head stats, and maybe I'm able to touch 700 head stats, which is like a crazy number, probably the complex cycle will get me there with, with this team. But it, it, it depends. If you have Youth Academy players that are more suited to be wingers, the wing cycle will be better for you and will give you better results. And eventually, you don't need to play with inner midfielder towards the wing. You could do the wing cycle, sell one player, buy an, a, an offensive or normal inner midfielder, and you'll get pretty much the same team. Because everything, if there are players on the market money will win eventually yeah having two competitive teams at the same time it's very important uh, tough i'm a supporter but i only have one team but is it possible to train players and second team and use them no it's not possible it's not possible at all you cannot sell players from one team to the other may i send my three homegrown players on discord yes if you did it tell me and i could show them if you want tell me if you want me to share your player he posted it on discord oh yeah in general, in general yes. <coughs> Let's see. 2100 potential. Oh, no spec. Okay, but still, no we'll, 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 uh, we'll leave good players. I nice. just give the advice to put them to the Hall of Fame. That fun. <laughs> yeah. Um, 1900 player, but powerful, which is nice. Yeah, and, nice players. And the other one? Uh, next image. Yeah. Nineteen hundred fifty-seven. Unpredictable. Wait a minute. What? Uh, which kind of uh, training is He's doing training this cycle? Play, playmaking right now. PM. Ah, play playmaking. But which cycle is it? It's the. He's I don't know. Oh, Rafi, because he he has wing. And this is youth academy. No, no it's not all him. the players. It's someone else. Oh, it's the no, same. it's his other players. Yeah, one home ground and one other. 
Oh yeah, it's a, it's a okay, uh, unpredictable. It looks like from the phone. Where's the where's the potential? I don't know. I just I don't know give either. this but Okay, cool. Hunter, I can't find you on Discord. Is your name also McLeod? Oh, no. I hopefully it's found you. Yeah, there is Mr. I think it would be interesting to talk about the financial aspect of keeping money from reserves, which adds a whole new dimension. Personally, I don't like future coaches for this person. I hate future coaches. I hate them. I hope they'll be nerfed because it's like all of the people using future coaches. They are trying to escape the law. You are getting free money out of reserves when other players don't and you have no negative effect of it. Everything in Hattrick has pros and cons. For, for, for instance, I need to keep cash from reserves as well, right? So what do I do? I have goalkeepers, goalkeeper, 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 goalkeeper. Goalie, 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 goalie. So a lot of goalkeepers, as you can see. But I'm paying salaries. I'm paying, it's uh, almost um, 300k salaries a week because I keep those cash players. But whoever uses future coaches, he has no negative effect. If my goalkeeper will get older, eventually he'll lose value. At the beginning, for a few seasons, he won't. But if I'll keep him for 10 seasons, he'll lose all his value. The future coaches, they don't. So, something needs to be done there. And maybe also the fact that the future coach market could be targeted. And maybe the external coach w will get a lower price for converting to a coach. The, the, the external coach price will be lower. And then the, the player, the, the transfer market for future coaches should drop. And if you are playing with with stocks, you can get hurt. But those players are saying, "Oh, I want to keep future coaches. I don't. I don't don't want you to be able to access your reserves money. Why I can? I I can. And so I want an unfair advantage over everyone else. But please do not ever touch the future coach market because I don't want to lose the value of my coaches. So you can't have it both ways." It's, it's, it's a very it's a very bad situation because uh, Hattrick made the bad decision, uh, probably not a decision. Just uh, they created this future coach market with a bad decision, uh, not intentionally, I think. And then no, there is no good way to come out of it because if you uh, uh, delete the future coaches, then a lot of people will be very angry. Of course, other people will be happy, but if you lose those people from the game where we became angry, that's also not good. I like it, that solution you suggested that convert it into uh, reserves, the value of the future coaches. Yeah. Mm, that's, uh, that's technically very hard to do. Uh, very, um, so it can it needs to be, how do you evaluate the future coaches? Yeah, it's, and difficult. Then it's difficult. Either it's the difficult. GMs need to go player, player by player, uh, or some managers who understand the value, or, uh, or you just get the money that a conversion is worth. Maybe, maybe just the conversion to, to, a, to an excellent coach. So he's uh, like, or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe not a conversion, maybe some other scale. 
And uh, Paranga, thank you so much for everything. Thank you so much for being here for t two and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. the old tiers could have a five stamina share. And Salitos is saying, can you please check my easy win in the final? What is this? Oh, yeah. He's trolling on you. Yeah, that's one of the. Uh, I, 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 won't, I, I can't say it's the worst unlucky magic that I have, but it's definitely. It's definitely a, a very unpleasant one because I was playing against this uh, Polish manager and we played in the same league. It's the first season in Ethiopia and we reached the final and those were the ratings. The rating was like I, I, I won midfield completely. I neglected defense and I won at offense. And I, I was unlucky. He got eight chances when I got four. I was winning midfield 70 to 30. He's not even playing counter-attack. Um, I run replays on this match. I don't think it's possible to see them right now because it's more than two seasons <laughs> yeah. since the game, but I have it on Twitter. I had 84 victories in the replays and he had 16. At the end of the match, although I had 84 victories in the replays, I wrote him like, congratulations, I was unlucky. Uh, you won the first cup final in Ethiopia. And he didn't even reply. And then, after a couple of weeks, I was chatting with someone else on the chat. And he wrote, and I was saying, yeah, I was unlucky check this game. And he said, oh, you know that midfield is not everything in hat-trick. And I'm like, really, man? It's not only <laughs> midfield. You Maybe you don't understand the game. And he's a very respected manager, but I don't know. Maybe he couldn't stand that he wasn't favorite and eventually we played another final the next year and the next year I, I won two cups after this so I played against the same player and I won 5-1 this time the match engine didn't help him and the the replays uh, the, the the ratings were massively in my favor but it is what it is and he's now playing in two new countries so I don't know. We'll see how we, uh, how he will do. But thank you for the troll. <laughs> Nerf everyone uh, can be cheaper coaches. Okay. So, um, so some other guys. Do you want to ask more questions or? Uh, did you like the did you, did you like the stream format? Um, I'll be happy. Uh, because I can speak, so I will answer you first. That I talked. Uh, there will be more like a talk show. So next time you may organize uh, more participants on Zoom or uh, the Discord, and then then have a talk show when everyone speaks and share their stories and so on. Maybe it's not a psycho stream then, but, but a talk show. Yeah. Uh, we can discuss, maybe we can discuss the World Cup, so it could be like an empty one. Maybe two weeks Friday, if you are free, when there would be an empty stream, but only friendly matches, we can do at that time. That as after the election, so you, we will know who are the coaches, we know the groups, so we can do a, like... Um, a talk show who are the contenders for this season's World Cup can do uh, an analysis of the groups. Uh, okay, I'm just uh, that would be, having, no, having that's ideas. A good idea. That's a good idea. Um, that's happening on the 9th of uh, October. I I'm not sure because... Oh, uh, I am not free on that day. Oops. Uh, okay. Uh, I will be it's, flying. It's, it's my brother's <laughs> birthday as well. And also, okay. I'm, I'm trying because I'm... all usually streaming every Friday and Friday is a uh, like weekend evening and because of my streams most of the time I, I'm not able to spend like to go with friends or uh, to spend more time with them. Yeah, we can do it on a Wednesday. Yeah, so, but, but, but yeah, Wednesday today was an, a, a good day because 
it's coming towards the end of the week and we usually don't have matches on this day. My, my team did play today, uh, but it was an easy cup match, so I guess I won. Uh, hopefully, uh, doing all this strategy <laughs> with follow-up plan, just an idea. Yeah, because I, I did the... Um, the, uh, the YouTube video about full competitive in new countries. I also thought about maybe doing sometimes streams when like I, I, I actually want to help other managers as well. If someone will come with the players that he have in Youth Academy or how much money he has, we could think about how to build his uh, training plan and what would be more suitable. You need a cycle to get there. I like it a long thanks for the stream. Another idea, what would be, what do you, you think to take a look at a few teams and tell how you personally would improve their trade? Oh yeah, definitely. That's that's definitely what I would love to do because yesterday, is on, the, yesterday on the Israeli stream, uh, one of my uh, in-game friends came and he said, okay, uh, Mish, I have those players what would you suggest me to do? And we actually improved his training plan. Yeah, I've put a match to the chat if you want to look at it. Okay. Are you trolling me again? I, I have more matches. No, it's like. not your match, not your match. But it's okay, I'm I'm in a pretty good mood. In the last two seasons I was I, I had I suffered a bad luck only in two games with Black Sabbath. Unfortunately, both of them were cup matches that I was kicked out of the cup. Uh, what is this? Look at the ratings and the chance distribution. That was two thirteen. Nice. The match was three two. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's an Look. unpredictable goal. No, it's penalty. Oh, penalty okay. shootout. Yeah. When did it happen? Oh, it happened today. Today, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Singapore Cup. Yikes. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad, very bad. By the way, Daniel, have you seen this uh, CHPP site? The like uh, Altid? Yes, yes. It's very nice. It's nice they got permission to do this. I mean, it was accepted as a CHPP, so probably Hattrick will not close it right now. Yeah. No, it's it, it's cool. I, I think they lack a little bit of general statistics because you could go to a certain league. Let's say you could go to uh, Austria and you could uh, say top ratings in this in this league and you'll get the top hat stats for the previous season but you don't have something like globally for top ratings but uh, Nick Karna has it yeah yeah you, those ratings are um, random and uh, rare and that's why people leaving the game I had a pretty lucky game as well Mish, show a few some sites of HT related that you used. Well, the, 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 this is an interesting site that I'm showing you right now, just like interesting statistics. Um, I have this site that I think it's pretty, where is So I have this one that's a lot of statistics for uh, from HD score Nick Karna site and this is an interesting one so this site will get you the expected results so and they have this delta it says how lucky you were so let's say last season in the league I won by 10 points and it says I was lucky because I got five points more than I deserved. 
and other teams as well. This team was unlucky. They got 7.7 .7, uh, points less than they deserved. And we could have the expected result. So by the expected result, I still should have won the championship by 7 points. But a team that stayed in the league should have relegated. And they stayed in the league because they had 2.5 more luck points. And this team finished second place because they had four uh, points that they got that they should not have. And this team, they finished sixth, but they should have finished second, 0 0.4 points a less. Uh, and here it was a match. So we are looking at, at your match right here, and you are saying you were pretty lucky here. But yeah, and we could take this match and we could put it in the site here, match analysis. And with, it will get us actually the expected results. So the Chinooks, you had three and a half percent to win this game, 15% to draw it and 81 and a half to lose it. And the expected result should have been zero two in his favor. So, yeah, but you won, so I'm happy for you. Could you send the link to the first site? So, that's... Wait a second, I'll... I think he asked for added. Yeah, I, I know, I'll give you uh, all because maybe he wants... Yeah, yeah. someone else maybe needs others. This is the HD score, I'll, I'll like, this site is more heavy. But okay, this is the altid. And you have so much interesting statistics here. Who are the strongest teams in Hatrick? Who gets more uh, head stats or uh, Nick Karna has his own uh, way of calculating rating uh, called HTS. So, a, a lot of different things, and it's called just HD score. Those I know give us something else. Oh, I have a secret site that will always give you the, the opportunity to win as a super secret. No, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> that's what I have. That's what I have. Um, those are just some uh, uh, markers. Most of them I don't use. I, I have the man marking one, if you are interested, uh, that will give you how good a man marking will be. Or a wage wizard that will allow you to calculate the expected wages of a player, but Fox trick will give you uh, the sub skills of players. Unique players, that is. I have to go on uh, uh, in a minute. Thanks, you guys. Uh, Brad, thank you so much for coming. Ah, unique players, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's an interesting one. You have a keen eye. I wanted to make a video about unique players. Unique players, it's by HT Central. It's a, a site from Argentina. And those unique players are just f famous hat-trick players. This is the most, the oldest player in hat-trick, Stefan Akronem. He is uh, 125 year old. He is the oldest player in hat-trick. So this is special. Uh, other players, well, other th uh, lowest uh, player ID, trainer with the lowest ID, oldest free agent. That was Bob, the famous Bob, but he's not all, uh, not in a trick anymore. Uh, Craig Vesniak, uh, just old uh, famous players. Kierke, I remember uh, this picture I was like uh, surprised that the player in the hat trick didn't have a cartoon face 
or records, like, this is it. If you like interesting stories about Patrick, that's definitely a very interesting site. I wanted to make a video about, uh, like, uh, famous players, but I haven't got to it yet. Guys, I think that we'll start to wrap it up for today. And um, we'll talk about the, the next stream. Have you voted? Have you voted here about um, about the different questions? So yeah, um, do you know what's uh, cycle training? 17 people said yes. Which cycle training do you prefer? So it's PM, complex and homegrown. Do you want more educational videos? 14 people said yes. And two said yes, but only cycle training. And lastly, what your goals for the season to, uh, with cycle training to go uh, high in the divisions and some said to win titles because we are competitive here. When your link comes, so I can rewatch it. Uh, Twitch enforces 24 hour cooldown, so I'll have to wait 24 hours before I can upload this to YouTube. But after this, yeah. Wage side I need that I want to plan my wages by season. Uh, if you are using Hattrick, you have something ev even better. If you are going to training and here you are going to training planner you could plan some trainings let's say defense and I'm picking some players for defense training and then I'll update results he will eventually give me the the expected salary as well. So you could see that the salary is going up. And if I'll add another training, and let's say I'll say train me playmaking for, I don't know, 60 weeks. Update result, it will update. You need to, you need to add the players. Oh yeah. Yeah, full training. Of course. Um, so it will give me how much they will improve and you have the opportunity to, to set stamina share and everything here. So, and, and you'll get the expected wage as well. But if you want, I'll, I'll link you the, the wage site also. We have no secrets here. But I feel that the hat trick, hat trick is is better for players that you have in your team. But for future players, it's probably better uh, the other one. Somehow your voice sounds off now. Maybe it's because I'm tired. I, I wake up, woke up early, went to work, came home, prepared uh, for an hour and a half for the stream. Uh, helped Lena to bet Sam uh, and and streaming with you for almost three hours. Thank you a lot for the stream. Looking forward for the next one. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it will be next Wednesday. But I, I'm, I, I'm very thankful for all of you coming here for almost the whole stream. We had like over 50 people. And even now we have over 30. So it's amazing to have you all here and thank you so much. Ah, it's a supporter feature. Yeah, you, ha you need to have a supporter. So yeah, um, we, we are getting experience in, uh, in improving with streaming and with cycle training so it's not it's now the time to conclude but I, I would gladly hear what you thought about uh, about how we did today and what would you like more would you like more calculations 
or financial or you'd like to see the numbers immediately and to 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 think about oh this is best and uh, i don't want to do the calculations do you want to see the expected ratings that that you'll get eventually in the future with each cycle or um or you have other questions what my claim also going thank you are also you. finishing thank so, you so much. thank you very much yeah thank we'll you talk. Have a nice evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah we can talk. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Okay. So where were we? I like the calculation. If you can grasp it easier to remember. Um yeah, uh, we, we would like to conclude, like for conclusion, the wing cycle uh, will cost you 110 million. You are expected to get, to earn 60 million during the, the 15 seasons of the stream. So it's better for you to start this cycle with about 50 million euros. That's the, the immediate conclusion here. I go, got to sleep, have a nice, have nice dreams. Thank you so much, everyone. Really appreciate it. Oh, appreciate all of you being here. I like to see all the possibilities to learn. Uh, I like to see all the possibilities to learn a lot from this. Uh, you are welcome, Serena. One last question: When does your child starts playing hat trick? We need more managers. Uh, definitely. Um, we'll we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Sleep tight. I will. Can you show a table like that for complex training? We didn't do it yet. We'll probably do it uh, in the future. Um, we'll do it in the future. Maybe maybe next time I'll, I'll stream. We'll see if Wednesdays work well and next Wednesday I'll have free time. I'll try to, to, to say it in advance. And it could be a cool series of uh, of streams about cycle training, then about old strat old uh, uh, player strategy, and then maybe how to combine everything together. Um, I I would definitely like to to help some managers who has some initial thoughts about their stream, and then we could go through it maybe. I don't know for 15, 20 minutes out of the next stream we could uh, we could talk with uh, maybe one or two managers and their training plans and then people could learn from this as well uh, not the not the financial part i did the part about here um the complex cycle, I did the part about how the training will look like. And uh, when do you buy players? Who are you training for profit? It's more complex. You'd see the first season, you have nine slots for profit. Next one, you have eight slots for profit. Here, you still have uh, four, com like, complete and four half slots for profit and it's advancing all the time it's not that easy to calculate everything in the complex one because you are buying more half-baked players and at different ages so it's interesting thank you Mish hope you'll continue cycle training streams thank you so much with all of you here definitely it's something I would like to to do more um, so again almost three hours thank you so much everyone for the follows uh, everyone who came today and uh, and followed during the stream I really appreciate this Serena and Soisalo Pepe and Brad and G Trout and Siga Bingo uh, Landker, uh, Schwede, 
and obviously thank you so much for the for the subs Matthews I really appreciate it Rafi thank you good night Fivo thank you so much for coming I will do that but starting with two players in the first season nice I, I would love to to look at your plan and then uh, we, we could talk about this we could talk about this and to see uh, how are you doing and how it does it look and maybe we'll get uh, we'll give you more ideas and I'll definitely need next time to drink more coffee or uh, more water during the streams I was I sometimes get so uh, uh, excited about speaking about everything and uh, so into the flow that I forget to, to drink. So that's it. And one of the best things about Wednesday is the fact that Black Sabbath is not doesn't need to play. So I, I won't forget to put a lineup or I won't forget to pick a match because I don't play today. Sneaky does play today, but... It's okay, it's easier for Sneaky. Guys and girls, that would be it for today. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. As I always say, Hattrick is more than a game, it's a community. And I'll definitely see you at the next cycle. And maybe it will be at the Cycle Training Federation. If you are a cycle supporter, don't forget to come there and join our federation. More than 700 managers already cycling and training and building their plans there or just learning. And if you don't have a supporter or even if you do, you are welcome to join our cycle training discord. It's free for everyone and we are talking there about all the same. And uh, yeah come to the streams as well so thank you so much for coming thank you for being here for three hours you are guys amazing and that's like that's the hatchet community that's what what's really amazing about this uh, that would be it i'll see you next time i stream even if you are coming to my twitch channel and i'm speaking hebrew because it's the local stream you are welcome to say hello ask questions and i'll always answer you did any forward training in the streamish? Come only in the end. Uh, not yet. Not yet. I'll just throw you that uh, as a forward cycle will be very complicated because if you need to train forwards until scoring 18, for the most part, no one needs so much scoring except forwards so you are building free forwards and you are using free slots for profit um, and that's problematic because with playmaking you are training wingers and inner midfielders and defensive forwards and center defenders but with scoring you need to get give one season of scoring to wingers, one and a half season of scoring to inner midfielders. Forwards needs like six uh, seasons of scoring. So you either train forwards to 18 and then drag their salaries for the time that you are training playmaking, passing, wing, everything. That's, that's problematic. But it's probably possible with, with just understanding that during this forward cycle, you'll have less core trainees. But we'll speak about this in the future, in next streams. And for now, I'll just say again, thank you so much for coming. And good night, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.